Ladies and gentlemen, this is DVP World. You're watching another edition of Military Mind, bringing you news from the front lines. I'm your host, Benjamin Lee. According to the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, there were 72 combat engagements along the front line over the last day. Russian forces are continuing their push in the Donetsk region, with particular pressure on the Novopavlivka direction. In total, the Russians launched 14 missile, 75 air and 95 MLRS strikes targeting positions of Ukrainian troops and Ukrainian settlements. Overnight, 22 Shahad drones were launched at Ukrainian infrastructure, 17 of which were shot down. Now, let's move to the Middle East. The Israeli Defense Forces say that they carried out a precise operation at Gaza's Al-Shifa hospital earlier today, citing Israeli intelligence indicating the complex was being used by senior Hamas militants. The Gaza Health Ministry said communications were cut and reported people killed or injured at the facility. The IDF said it exchanged fire with armed individuals in the hospital complex and arrested 80 people. In Transnistria, an unknown UAV struck a military unit. Russian media outlets reported that the target was a helicopter on the grounds of the unit, while the drone allegedly flew in from the Odessa region. American analysts with the Institute for the Study of War are convinced that Ukraine was not involved in the attack, and that the incident is an attempt by Russia to destabilize the situation in Moldova. Now let's talk a little about the war spilling over into Russia. Forces from the Russian Volunteer Corps used the 30mm gun of a BTR-82A captured in May 2023 to target Moscow's forces at the Graveron border checkpoint. In the video ahead, you'll see what the Russian situation on the front line looks like in real life. This clip, captured in the Donetsk region, shows scores of destroyed Russian equipment and dead soldiers in the Donetsk region.
here's a showcase of a marvel of engineering ingenuity. The Ukrainian drone mine layer, capable of deploying up to 15 TM-62 anti-tank mines in a single load. In the realm of modern warfare, innovation often proves to be the key to gaining an edge over adversaries. Enter the Ukrainian drone mine layer, a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of its creators. This unmanned aerial vehicle, equipped with advanced technology and precision guidance systems, have revolutionized the way anti-tank mines are deployed on the battlefield. And now, a video of a Russian mechanized assault resulting in a destruction of a Russian BMP-1AM and a BMP-2 alongside enemy infantry. The clip was captured southeast in the east of the village of Andrivka in the Donetsk region. The rolling hills of southeastern Ukraine echo with the roar of a Russian mechanized assault. As the dust settled, remnants of Russian IFVs littered the battlefield. Their once menacing presence reduced to smoldering wrecks. Amidst the chaos, the valiant defenders, undeterred by the overwhelming odds, stood their ground in exacting a heavy toll on the advancing enemy infantry. And with that footage, we conclude this edition of Military Mind. But for more news, update, and commentary, please stay tuned to TVP World. <laughs>